Consulting, we are presenting to you, the Executive Board of McDonald's, a solution for your green marketing efforts. Good morning, my name is Fernando. These are my colleagues, Catherine and Alex. Eating healthy, nutrient-rich, and sustainably sourced food is hard. Eating this type of food in a fast-paced world might be even harder. Businesses try to portray their green marketing efforts but when these are exaggerated, have left out important inf information and are uns unsubstantiated, they become greenwashing. When consumers realize this, they turn to other businesses, leaving out profits for your stores. Recently, McDonald's has become part of the negative press. Whether it be animal cruelty related or challenges to your beef sourcing. The biggest challenge for McDonald's is not only meeting but surpassing the sustainable practices set in place. What we propose is a pilot program called McFresco. It will focus on three key issues. Beef sourcing, waste management from the counter, and CO2 emissions. We understand that to be fully green, you need to consider the whole value chain. Therefore, for McDonald's, it is as equally important to, for the beef sourcing than it is for the waste management. And now, my colleague Catherine will talk about the ethical aspects of McFresco. Thank you, Fernando. Good morning. So now I'd like to introduce that McDonald's has actually done as a corporation, made many attempts towards a utilitarian perspective in the maximization of welfare and for the most people. And they've done so through their corporate social responsibility practices of their five pillars of sustainability. You focus on people, you focus on community, you focus on sourcing, food, and planet. However, as my colleague Fernando mentioned earlier, the press has turned it against it. Furthermore, we also realize there are some shortcomings in McDonald's when, they, when their business policies do not align 100% with these business claims that you're making. Therefore, which is what we call greenwashing in terms of marketing, you now are dealing with the ethical considerations of mass consumer deception as well as the promotion of unsustainable agricultural practices. So now the question becomes, why is McDonald's responsible for such changes? Now, we as a consulting group would like to suggest to you McDonald's board that in a time and changing environment of green policies and green marketing that McDonald's has a duty to both its consumers its stakeholders and its franchisees and suppliers to stay ahead of such regulations and not only to stay ahead of such regulations but that this could also be advantageous for you in terms of profit this is understood under the concept of shared value shared value which is the intersection of meeting societal needs along with business needs creates mutual value proposition and value generation as well as mutual profit specifically we do so by redefining the marketplace as in terms of societal societal needs furthermore it requires mcdonald's to go back and look at its product productivity throughout the product chain and supply value chain Lastly, McDonald's would need to enable a collaborative environment and foster clusters of supportive infrastructure to ensure successful collaboration. Specifically, our McFesco program does this, and let's look at one example, such as beef sourcing. Beef sourcing, we now realize there's a societal need for agricultural practices that ensure the health of animals, people, and environment. Now, once we've redefined that market space, we can go back and say, where can we improve productivity? And instead of thinking improved productivity is pushing as many cattle as possible through feedlot farms, which pose health risks both to animals, human, and environment. 
we can now look for cross collaboration on our supply chain. Again, going back to enabling fostered um, collaborative clusters, we would need to go ahead and su supply the resources to ensure that we improve efficiency and profitability on both sides. Shared value also addresses the concern of how McDonald's should use its power to ensure compliance. McDonald's currently, with its market power and purchasing power, can demand quick changes and drastic changes from both suppliers and franchisees. However, we pose the risk that if we impose such changes too quickly, that we can induce high upfront capital costs with a delayed profit that may not work out for the profitability and or even the success of such businesses. We cannot risk foreclosure of our business partners and therefore we argue that McDonald's has both a duty to maximize and act in the interest of many, but also to act with consideration towards its business partners. Let's take the example of the franchisees of the 14,000 restaurants McDonald's has, McDonald's has in the U.S. A majority of them are owned by franchisees who are working on small operating incomes to sustain both their families and their communities. If we were to go ahead and impose such a high financial burden in terms of ensuring that they meet our new compliance standards in the initiative set forth by McFresco, this, may, this poses a risk to their profitability and their success. This is not ethical if we were to cause the foreclosure of thousands of franchisees if they cannot keep up with our demands. Therefore, under the paradigm of shared value, we are also going to be providing resources, education, and human capital to make sure that they can work with us in a collaborative way. To ensure higher success rates, we're going to also look at how they've been performing in the past and ensure that local regulation has already put a supportive infrastructure to reduce compliance burdens. Lastly, it is up to the franchise ultimately to decide whether or not they would like to participate in such a pilot program. Therefore, we are not forcing any decision on any franchisee or impinging on their rights to choose how to run their franchisees independently. Last but not least, I will now like to turn the conversation over to my col colleague Alex. So as a reminder, McFresco, we're looking to uh, charge an up, uh, an up uh, no, charge to the adaptive customers. Now, the reason why we're trying to do this, this to drive the customers is we want, we want to transfer uh, some of the social costs of one, CO2 emissions, and number two, the, the extra waste that's, um, that we find that happens after you know, the customers have left McDonald's. And we're confident in the 6% uh, premium because we find that uh, consumers are actually willing to pay, this, uh, to, to pay this and actually remain customers for McDonald's. We also, uh, we also want to make sure that along with this 6% uh, premium, we're confident that uh, it'll be okay because we have, we'll make sure that McDonald's actually makes a clear and transparent message. Now, with this clear and transparent message, we find that also that where our, our resource allocation goes is an important aspect. So with resource allocation, we're finding that we'll actually um, we propose that McDonald's actually keeps the resources internally. And we're confident that McDonald's can do this with great success because McDonald's has done this with Ronald McDonald's housing. They've done it internally before. And we also feel like we also propose that if McDonald's can actually bring in an external auditor, that it's, it, it'll be okay for McDonald's as well. Again, McDonald's has done this before. McDonald's can do it again. McDonald's has actually done eco upcharging before successfully. McDonald's can do it again. So the question arises. Ethically, what happens when customers in poorer areas want to have this upcharge service, but it doesn't happen because, as mentioned yesterday, McDonald's, we are placing these up, these, 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 up, so, 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 these upcharge services, excuse me, in higher income areas. Well, we find that McDonald's and customers in, in higher income areas are actually more price inelastics. They have higher disposable income. So they're able to take on these extra charges and have premium quality beef. While it is unfortunate that the poor communities may not have premium quality beef, we're confident that uh, with the price, with the allocation over time, we can actually uh, put funds um, in, in and we can actually have more further iterations for the McFresco. And we can actually use economies of scale to actually pass these costs on and pass these benefits down to the consumer. So I'm going to have my colleague, Fernando, to close this meeting now. So what are the key issues that McDonald's should take out of these recommendations? Corporate social responsibility can only take you so far. 
combining it with shared value will give you the best economic and societal value. We understand that it is a long-term investment, but McDonald's should be the forefront leader in sustainable fast food chains. It will show that their green marketing is actually legitimate, well thought out, and efficient. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The group.